what's going on everybody this is self doc golfer uh, today we're doing the vintage golf challenge where we are taking authentic vintage 1930s clubs trying to pair it with me having a as close to authentic outfit as i can and we are playing it here at the nine hole course at the navy course here in cypress california and it's going to be a really fun challenge i don't have any fairway woods <laughs> We only have like six clubs, so we're gonna have to try to make the most of them. But I'm ready. Let's do this. Time to show this old course we've made up. Seems like it'll come in handy someday. Seven nine seven nine. That seems like the ticket. Stop straight down. <laughs> just bump it up there, just on the front side of the creek. Taking the skin clean off this. So from the back tee box, we got about 153 yards. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, it'd be about an eight iron. Since we don't have an eight, we only have a nine and a seven. The goddess of luck has not been on my side. I suppose we'll go with the seven. advanced it. it wasn't pretty but it'll do Although I've expressed my displeasure with this club, it's really the only club, this nine iron, that I have that could probably do a hundred yard, three quarter pitch shot. However, because the club is slightly offset, it causes everything to hook. The key to this would be to swing quite upright.
putting for birdie. No bullshit, that was a great hit. <laughs> the fun fact about a lot of these clubs is that they're designed with a really sharp edge, meant to cut through grass, just like this. So hopefully, we'll actually get to swing this thing properly. ball doesn't seem to be going as far as it normally would. So I'm choosing the five iron. Normally from 163, I might try to hit a soft seven, maybe slingshot an eight iron. Not today. Seven iron's definitely not enough. The real challenge is that each one of these clubs has a different flex. So some release sooner than others. This is probably one of the stiffest ones. Barely moves when I waggle. When I hit it, it feels like I'm just swinging a stick. Come on with a rain, have a smile on my face. I walk down the lane with a happy refrain. Just singing, singing in the rain. <laughs> thoughts on this challenge sport um it's very difficult trying to swing with clubs that have different flexes when you've adapted to the modern clubs it's kind of hard to take a step back aside from short game because short game you're not swinging that hard so the club really doesn't affect much of it that's mostly just feel it was a fun challenge we had some good shots especially towards the end after i got a little adjusted uh, I'm looking forward to going back to regular clubs and a hat that fits. You have been watching the Vintage Golf Challenge. See you later, folks. Thanks for watching.